Hello guys, welcome back to class. Welcome to Master Builders Online Academy. If you are new in this channel, do consider subscribing to our channel and ensure you turn on the post notification bell for more exciting videos. So guys, before us, we have a question in fluid magnets. We are asked to calculate the specific weights, specific mass, specific volume, and specific gravity. Four things at a time. Specific weight, specific mass, specific volume, and specific gravity of a liquid having a volume of 12.5 meter cube and weight of 50 kilo newton. So as usual, the first thing that we will do, being that this question we have is a word problem, is to state the given parameters, which include the known and the unknown parameters. This will help us understand or trace the accurate formula that will be suitable for individual unknowns. Are you there? So let's get started. Given that. Now, we are given volume. So we'll be using their symbols. Volume is 12.5 meter cube. Then we are given weight. We use W as weight. 50 kilo newton. Then if we remove kilo, this gives us 50 times 10 raised to the power of 3 newton. Don't forget that kilo means 10 raised to the power of 3. Then, being that we are dealing with the properties of fluid, acceleration due to gravity is constant. So we state that G, acceleration due to gravity, is 9.81 meter per second squared then we have specific weight is unknown specific mass is unknown now specific volume is unknown and specific gravity is unknown Now, these are the parameters that we have. So the first thing that we have to calculate is to calculate the specific weight. Number one, specific weight. So the specific weight, which is this symbol, is the same thing as this symbol and is giving us weight over volume. Then we have this as the weight is 50 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 Newton all over volume is 12.5 by extension this would have given us five zero 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 four zeros all over 12.5 and the value of this when 50,000 is divided by 12.5 our answer is 400 newton per meter cube this is the specific weight for this particular question. Now, the second is the specific mass. Specific mass. And specific mass is the same thing as density. And this is given as specific weight all over acceleration due to gravity. This is how you obtain the value for specific mass, which is the same thing as density. And now we already calculated the specific width to be 400 all over acceleration due to gravity is 9.81. When we divide 400 by 9.81, our specific mass is equal to 40.77 kilogram per meter cube. This is the unit of density. So this is the answer to this very question. Now, if we check the question again, the next option is to calculate the specific volume. Now, specific volume. Number three is the specific volume. Specific volume. Now, this specific volume is the reciprocal of specific mass. In other words, is the reciprocal of density. One over density is your specific volume. Are you there? So specific volume is the reciprocal 
of density and this would have given us 1 all over 40.77 and the final answer to the specific volume is 0 0.0245 meter cube per kilogram this is the answer to this very specific volume next is for us to calculate the specific gravity which is same thing as relative density are you with me hope you are following up with this class number four specific gravity now specific gravity is the ratio of the specific specific gravity is the ratio of density of liquid to that of water or the ratio of the specific weight to the standard weight of water so we can simply make use of density of liquid over density of water by standard we understand that the density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube this is the density of water so now the density of liquid is 40.77 as calculated all over the density of water which is 1000 and when we divide 40.77 by 1000 we have our answer to be 0 0.4077 this is the answer remember that specific gravity does not have si in it this is because it is the comparative measurement of the same quantity density divided by density so when the unit of the density at the numerator is divided by the unit of density at the denominator the unit automatically cancels so understand that specific gravity does not have si unit and another word for specific gravity is relative density so we can see that these are the answers to the required parameters we are asked to calculate for so we look at it this is the question so thank you for watching we love you thank you thank you thank you don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so and ensure you turn on the post notification bell for more exciting content guys don't forget to like this video, share this video, and make your necessary comment at the comment section. If you have a question, guys, do not hesitate to ask any question that you have. Specific weight is equal to 400 newton per meter cube. Specific mass is equal to 40.77 kilogram per meter cube then specific volume x 0.0245 meter cube per kilogram then finally the specific gravity is given as 0. Four zero seven seven. So, guys, that will be all for now. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. And do ensure you turn on the post notification bell for more exciting videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share, like, and make your necessary comments at the comment section below. We love you guys. See you in the next video.